Families of school shooting victims in New Valley are outraged at the latest investigation report on the police response to the mass shooting. It basically clears local officers of any wrongdoing. The investigation was carried out by a private investigator hired by the city, and it was released today. Fox 4's Peyton Yeager joins us with the report and also some pretty strong reaction to it. Peyton. Heather, family members and community members, they were so frustrated, they were seen walking out during mid-presentation to collect themselves. Now, after the presentation was over, the investigator left the room, but then families demanded that the investigator come back and listen to them during public comment. How dare you? How dare you? You were paid by them, and you just came out and, what was that, a deposition? Families in Uvalde were left furious Thursday after an outside investigator's report cleared Uvalde City Police of missteps during the May 2022 shooting at Robb Elementary. 19 children and two teachers were killed in the massacre. What good did you just do all of us? Nearly two years we waited for this. What did this do for us? Nothing. You're going to sit there in a chair next to everybody else who has failed us. So how can he say that you guys did nothing wrong? I don't, I don't understand that. Speakers directed their disgust to Jesse Prado, an Austin-based investigator and former police detective who was commissioned by the city council. Prado stated the department did not commit any wrongdoing or violate any policy. On May 24th, 2022, law enforcement took more than an hour to get inside the classroom and kill the gunman. The officers could not see where the rounds were coming from. They just knew that the rounds were going through the wall, through the wood, through the, through the doors. And they could not shoot into that room blindly. A stark contrast to the Justice Department's investigation, which found massive failures and delays by law enforcement. Despite defending the police officer's actions, the independent report did acknowledge rippling failures in the response. There were problems all, all day long with communication, lack of it. In addition to communication, other failures mentioned were lack of training and officers not having the correct keys. Audience members were visibly upset when the report stated a crowd of families at the front of the school compromised officers during their response. Prado went on to praise the commanding officers on scene, saying one showed immeasurable strength, focus, and level-headed thinking. Even though he'd been shot at and hit in the ear, that, that his actions were all in good faith, sir. This child was shot, and he sat in there for 77 minutes while those cowards did nothing. You said that that was in good faith. Council members Hector Luevano and Ernest King spoke up after public comment, saying they were insulted by the report, and this was the first time they heard it. They deserve a thorough investigation, a thorough explanation. I'm sorry, but... Uh, uh, I don't accept this report without further explanation, and y'all shouldn't either. I've been sitting here, I've been shaking for the last hour. I'm so pissed off at what happened today, and I know you guys are. Now, Prado, Prado, who gave the report, left when the city council went into executive session. After that, the city council met with individual family members behind closed doors. Prado, he was, uh, and reporters came up to him as he was walking to his car, Heather, but he did not offer any statements or any comments. He didn't answer any questions. Now, next week, the city says it will have its regularly scheduled public meeting to discuss the findings in this report. So we'll stay tuned.